So how big of a win, Chris Carter, was this for those Bengals yesterday? Very few people have been cheering harder for the Bengals than yourself. <laughs> but this is not too far from my hometown. And I'm starting to get my high school buddies and stuff. Oh, get hey. a text chain. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Oh yeah, we had we had to go to a little stub hole before the game tickets. yesterday to get them to get them some tickets. <laughs> you gotta go to the hub. Yeah. Oh, Patrick Mahomes is coming to town. My grandson, can you can you get him there? Yeah. So the effect, because football's big. That's awesome. In Ohio, mm -hmm. everyone wants to get a part of it, but they got some real superstar players. Mm -hmm. They have drafted well. This is just not a team hitting a hot spurt. And Joe Burrow's coming back to Ohio. He originally is from Ohio. And then the last two years, what they've done in the draft, and I think their defense is really underrated. But against Kansas City yesterday in the first quarter, a young team down 14 nothing. Patrick, no, this game's a wrap. How, how they going to boat race them. Mm -hmm. They're going to score 40 against them. I know, them. I know. But they run that car, uh, curl, and Chase runs off with it, and the Bengals got a chance. And every time Kansas City did something, the Bengals came back with a response. This team is here to stay. Joe Burrow's the best quarterback in the AFC North. Mm -hmm. That's a take. That's a take. That's with Ben Baker and Lamar, and I can't argue Come on, it. Come on, tell me. I can't argue it. I mean, Burrow's been incredible, and he was awesome. We said all week last week the only way they could win this game is if – they just outscore them and find a way, and they put up the points. That's 34 points on a Chiefs defense that's been suffocating everyone. But on the other end, like to your point, Chris, Chiefs were up in this game, and then the Bengals made a play. Von Bell, what school? The Ohio the. State. Von Bell makes a huge play at the end of the first half. Let's see this one here. Mahomes to Tyreek. This Watch this throw. <laughs> well, Mahomes is insane. Then we were not going to play. He's about 90 yards. Yeah. Away. But look at Von Bell here making the play. That, that. Just that play right there. That was a lot. Yes. That is huge because Kansas City could kick a field goal right there, take a huge lead into halftime. Von Bell makes this play, and then the Cincinnati Bengals go into halftime, and as much as we want to talk about Burrow and Chase, who, by the way, Jamar Chase was born on March 1st, 2000. <laughs> that is how young he is. He's 21 years old. He was born in the year 2000, everyone. Mm -hmm. The defense wakes up and says, no more of this. Defense suffocated Kansas City in the second half. KC, without Clyde Edwards-Alaire, could not run the ball, which is a great concern for the playoffs. You got to get him back. And they picked off Mahomes. Look at the numbers here. Second half, Cincinnati defense was just suffocating, giving up just three points, 120 yards, and just 50 passing yards from Mahomes. So, this is going to be a day of celebration for Burrow and Chase and Mixon, as it should be. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati's defense was awesome, too. That's a complete team win. They shut down the unbelievable Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey and Hill when they needed most. Congrats to the Bengals. Awesome win. Congrats is the right word to say. On Friday in the Good Morning Football program, it was about two things. It was about hyping the Miami Dolphins. That was, that was rough. Yep. And it was about hyping the Cincinnati Bengals. So we all kind of went around it, and I did, and I showed all their 50-plus yard plays. And then after the show... Uh, the Good Morning Football Twitter account tweets out the whole segment of us saying Bengals are great, Bengals are great, and the word unstoppable was used. And quick, quickly, promptly, Tyron Matthew of the Kansas City Chiefs replies to Good Morning Football after having watched the segment and says, man, they want us to lose so bad, it's a shame. And that's not true at all. We don't want Kansas City to lose. Tyron, you're one of our favorite guys. We love you. Kansas City's been great. But there is an intoxication with Cincinnati. There is this feeling of, oh my gosh, this is the next big thing. And we came out and the word unstoppable was used. And then guess what they were, Tyron? They were unstoppable. You had a rookie wide receiver who was the best game in history yes. against you guys. Like, we were right. They were <laughs> unstoppable. This play right here, Chris, changed everything. Yes. And watching this, if you listen to Nance call it, he has this thing where he goes, and it's a gain to chase. And oh, my. Like, he couldn't believe what he was seeing. And neither could the rest of us. Patrick Mahomes doesn't lose games in December. Look it up. It just doesn't happen. He doesn't lose November, December, or January. His record's unbelievable. Up 14 in this one. Up 14. I've always referred to all, all year as the Cincinnati Bengals as adolescents. I feel like in this game, they got the driver's license. They voted. They got the mm. first beer. It was This was a big, big, big boy game, and I'm just so impressed. And uh, honestly, this was an awesome win, and I didn't know they had it in them. They do. And... They can beat anybody. With what, that is, that, is that what the, what the bottom line is? What's the bottom line of how we feel about the Bengals? Okay. Obviously, a game changer. It changes the entire landscape in the AFC. They're beating the team that represented the AFC in back to back Super Bowls, a team that has Patrick Mahomes, a team that has not lost since October, that has been playing so well on defense up until yesterday when Jamar Chase look, made them look like they were in junior high. It was unbelievable <laughs> some of the things that we were seeing. It's true. Sorry. What do we think of the Bengals? Like, what is our bottom line on them going forward? I think they're legitimate. They have some cornerstone pieces that you can start to build around. Like, I don't go back to Ohio that much because my family, they live in Atlanta and everything, but the guys wanting to come to Ohio. 
to play with Joe Burrows. Mm -hmm. You see that defense. If you get points, guys on defense know, wow. We can give up some yards. All we got to do is create some turnovers. So Not Cincinnati, yet a contender, but legitimate. Cincinnati is legitimate. And any time that you have a quarterback, you're going to be able to win in this league. Mm -hmm. And look at the decisions that they've made the last couple of years. Joe Burrows wasn't a knockdown, just, okay, we got to take him. Chase was not a, hey, no. you know, we Waddle, uh, like <laughs> Smith, like mm -hmm. – They've made some good practical football decisions that have led to a good football team being on the field. Mm. Does it change how we look at the Bengals going forward? Not even just this year, whatever happens. I think that's year. the thing. I think this year is like it's milk and honey. Like, let's see what happens this year. But now it's like, wait, Burrow's 23, Chase is yeah, 21. They're on their first contract. Mm. They're, this team can be awesome, and they already signed Mixon to an extension. So I like, still think they should have drafted Penny Sewell. I'm going to say I'm just going <laughs> to die on that hill. Okay. Little... <laughs> Keep him safe. <laughs> Worried about protecting him down the stretch. There's Maybe. a Panace. I mean, Panace looked pretty good. Jamar Chase. I know. Yeah. If they beat Kansas City, they can beat anybody. That's my bottom line. We have to go, everybody. Let's